Hello everyone, Tony here with Genuine Comfort. Um, if you're in the Utah area, Wasatch Front, this is specifically who this video is for, or maybe another state that I don't know about that private equity companies are coming in buying small little heating and cooling companies out or plumbing and electrical companies. Um, the reason why I'm doing a video on this, and I done one similar to this last year, is to educate you, the consumer, on what is going on in the HVAC industry as far as Utah goes. So you have these companies from California, Arizona coming in and buying out these smaller companies, and they have a different business philosophy. Not all of them, but most of them. Which means, let's advertise really low, like a $29 service call, let's get our guy in there, he's usually high pressure, Nine times out of 10 folks, you're not gonna pay a $29 tune-up or service call. They're gonna find something wrong. They're gonna try and upsell you everything. Again, not all the time, but most cases it's a bait and switch. I want you to be careful. So these companies come in, they buy out a smaller company that maybe you worked with for a long time that's always taking care of you, doesn't price gouge. Then they change everything in order to keep their volume up and keep their um, money and their revenue because they're such a big company, they're gonna raise their prices substantially. A lot of times it's offering a free furnace with the purchase of an air conditioner. That's generally a garbage ad. You're not getting anything free, we all know that. There are ways around it that they can advertise legally for that, which means you're still paying for the labor, but the labor is generally more expensive than most heating and air companies that aren't marketing that way. So. Be careful with the big corporations. Again, I wanna stress, not all are bad. Some of them are very, very good. They take care of their employees. But what you see is when a company comes in and they buy out these smaller companies, they change the culture because they're all about the number, they're all about the end goal, so they too can sell for a profit. So customer's not always in mind. That's not the end goal. It's whoever's buying that company out to build that to profit to sell. So. When you're dealing with little companies or littler companies, um, you'll probably get better customer service and um, even better service techs in some cases. Again, just do your due diligence, do your research. Uh, some great, some big companies are very, very good. Um, it's just like having a little guy that has one man that don't know what he's doing. It's totally opposite. You can get the good and bad of both worlds. But if you have any questions, please call us, give us a try. If you're in Utah, Genuine Comfort, Tony Bassett, I'll come out and give you a bit at no charge. We'll be fair. We'll take care of you. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.